Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the best UI animation tools for applications and websites. We are going to check out some less known tools which you might not know of from even the likes of Google. So without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So the first tool that we're gonna look at is called Draftium. And Draftium is a great tool for not only UI prototyping and animations, but also for reviewing uh, and collaboration. It allows you to pick up blocks of animations and just put it right into your designs. So let's check it out. Once you log in, which is a super simple process, you need to create a new website, so as to say. You can make a website, a mobile app or a mobile web app. And um, I'll, I'll check out a new create blank prototype. This will allow me to start from scratch. Once I have applied something like this, I can select any element from right within here. And as you can see, there's the settings icon which appears. If I click on this, I can use it to animate this particular asset. You can either make it dynamically appear on scroll or you can make it fade in, slide in, or zoom in. You can change the style of the button as well. You can uh, dynamically apply it to all the buttons as well, or you can just select it as an alternate style. So this will allow me to, uh, when I'm scrolling, it can slide in stuff just like this. And you can see that in real time. Oh, this is pretty cool. And you can select direction of which it is appearing from, slow or fast. And once you're done with this, you can actually preview this, publish this, or share a link which will allow you to comment, allow other people to put comments on your design. So comments on animations as well as comments on the actual design. That is a very cool feature. See how it appears? I love this. Now the next tool is called Spirit and Spirit looks familiar to all those who might have used After Effects or maybe have used uh, other tools which allow you to animate. And this is a free, completely free of cost tool which allows you to animate and then export to web. Check it out on your Chrome browser in real time. Now, once you have downloaded and installed it, it will allow you to actually install a Chrome extension. And once you have done that, well, you, you'll have this little icon on the top right which says connect spirit. If you go to any website, say google.com, and on the top right you'll see this little ghost appear. And it says connect spirit has access to this site. If I click on this ghost, it pops up this uh, pop-up and I say okay. So I'll just quickly add a group from here and I'll name this logo um, underscore animation. And that'll be just our basic thing. Select element from the web page. So for example, I want to select this Google element. I can select that and it shows me the image that is behind this. And I'll create this group and it says logo animation. If I click on edit, it actually allows me to edit the animation of Google. I can change the logo animation from right here. If I go inside this little window which has popped up and I click this plus icon right next to this element, I'll get a bunch of different options and I'll for this one select visibility and I'll sell, set it to opacity. So now the opacity is done, I can change it to zero and that's it. And if I shift this little uh, rectangle from the top from here to say 0 0.5 seconds, I can apply another one and say one. So from zero seconds to 0 0.5 seconds, the Google logo will change from zero to 0% 0 animation to 100% animation. So if you go back into Google, see how Google has actually vanished. Put this window right below Google and say play from the bottom here. Ooh, see how Google logo appears and changes in opacity? Now, this is something that will allow you to change animation on your own website or on anyone else's website. I hope Google doesn't sue me for this. And once you've done this, you can save this from the top right here as your own JSON file. That's the best part of this, that once you've animated on your actual website, you can quickly go ahead and save it as a JSON file and play it on the web or inside your actual application. 
go ahead and save this as a JSON file. Now this next tool is actually from Google. It's called Google Web Designer and it came out when I had first started to do web design and it allows you to create web-based animations for any of your websites, be it in an advertisement, be it a UI animation or anything like that. Once you have actually downloaded it and you get this, you will get this screen, which allows you to pick any sort of template or you can actually start your own template from my templates here. This little timeline should appear for you. Now this is a full fledged UI animation tool as well as a web animation tool, which allows you to create snippets for the web. Once you say created something and you've animated something, you can go ahead and either view the code for it, or you can go ahead and preview this in any of your favorite browsers, be it Chrome, Firefox, anything you like can be open inside the web view itself. Now this next UI animation tool is great for people who know a little bit of code already. Uh, it's called Prototype and it's based on Framer.js and if you click on Create New Interaction, it allows you to create individual uh, interactions. Say for example, if I click on this circle, it will animate this circle and see how the animation is so smooth and nice and it's great for both mobile as well as for browser. You can actually save this and preview this on your phone. So this is a great tool for those designers who know a little bit of code and, I, and want to experiment with elements inside uh, the browser itself. For example, if you're creating a website and you want to see how a button animation will look, I think this is a great tool. You even have other options like if you want to use JavaScript or CoffeeScript. Now, if you like code-based UI animation kits, I think Motion UI is one of the best out there. It's by Zerb, the same people who create frameworks and layouts for web. You can either download the star kit directly or you can test out a lot of these animations. If I say hinge in from top, see how this little guy hinges in from the top. Uh, you can change the easing, you can change whether it's slow or fast, and the documentation itself is on the entire screen. So you can check out the documentation. Also, you can check out many of the tutorials that they have created on their own. So go check zerb.com slash playground slash motion UI for sure. Okay, this, this is just like a bonus uh, or a special mention that I wanted to include is called Styly. And Styly allows you to basically animate an object from maybe one position to the other, or you can even change the size, scaling, things like that. And you can change the motion at which it is traveling. You can change the Bezier curve and you can play this right here. You can export this as a CSS or you can even customize the HTML from in right here. And I can, I might be wanting a button here, so I can just replace this with a button. And I can even add new or load from the server itself. Now, this next tool is not exactly a, you know, UI animation tool, but it allows you to create 3D animations for mockups and other such things inside your browser. It's called pasteapp.com. I can create a new deck anytime and it allows me to paste or drop my work. So this could actually be one of your screenshots of your application or website that you've created in XD or any other tool. Create a media frame first. So I'll, I'll check out this iPhone 10. Uh, put it right here and I will and I can add either an image from any of these sources or I can even add a simple uh, funny gif right here so one of these I think will one of these will work out I'll just try this high little high gif that they've created and one it starts loading it and see how it appears inside here and how do I animate this I can actually go to media frame again select this 3d option and any time that I preview this, so if I say done, see how this actually animates when I'm moving the mouse around. This can be so cool for your presentations. And also if you want to just, uh, you know, make, make a screencast of this and put it on Dribbble or whichever platform that you post, and it's completely three dimensional. You can even expand this design from right here itself. I hope you liked today's video. If you want such videos every single week, Monday and Thursday, I post different tutorials and other cool stuff. You can check out my channel and also subscribe to the channel to get, to get weekly updates. 
I'll see you in the next video. God bless.